Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex coming to you with another video. Um, so you probably have seen the videos that I've posted for the sheaths I've done for Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids. This might actually still be a part of one video. I don't know yet if I'm uh, if I'm going to splice them together or just split them all up into separate videos. So I'm recording them separately to make it easier on my end. But um, anyway, so. Uh, Either way, this is sort of just a thank you for Tim. Uh, he's obviously given me a lot of exposure by doing a review of my work on his channel, and I'm, I'm super appreciative of that. Uh, Tim was a great guy and has been awesome to work with, and uh, so I just wanted to do something cool and special for him to say thank you. So one of the things I had noticed watching his videos over the past several months was that he has a Kershaw knockout. And I have a Kershaw knockout, so I figured I might make him an extra sheath. So this is this is the Kershaw knockout. It's got thumb studs. It also has a flipper on it like that. So I wanted to make him an auto open sheath, uh, which I don't know if he'll like or not, but I hope he does. And this is what I came up with. I wanted to do something totally different from my normal design and something uh, just unique in general. So what I've got is... <clears throat> this accent piece actually has a double function, obviously prettifying, and it also functions as lock. So this is open and that's closed. So when the lock is closed, it actually squeezes the kydex around the knife uh, snugly enough. Oh, snugly? That just sounds cuddly and cute. <laughs> it squeezes it so snug that the knife cannot be pulled out or at the very least you'd have to pull with enough force to just totally tear the kydex which I'm sure can be done but it really is a lot of force you'd require for that so alright so when the knife or sorry when the sheath is unlocked the knife can be drawn and it auto opens however when it's locked that sucker does not want to come out of there. So it's a pretty cool design. I'm going to put it on my hip, on my belt here, and show you. Sorry, I think I forgot to move the spacers from my belt. But... Alright, so there it is. Uh, it rides at an angle because I found it just to be a little bit easier to to pull off but so it unsnaps really easy that's all it requires and then you can remove the knife and it's just there for you to use when you need it so real quick unsnap draw and you're ready to use it going back in and just lock it up so it doesn't fall out get bumped come loose or anything like that all right, so that is the end of this, uh, at least this batch. Uh, Tim and I have been talking, and uh, he's going to send me another few knives probably to, to get a second batch in. And uh, we're just really trying to show the full gamut of what I do here at Black Bear Custom Kydex. And uh, all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these videos, and I hope you go check out Tim's review of them. I'm sure it'll be a lot less... Uh, a lot less babbling and rambling and stumbling over your words so one more time thank you tim so much for the opportunity to uh, do work on your knives and i really hope you enjoy them get some great use out of them and uh, thank you again for the exposure and just this opportunity in general uh, for those of you who haven't checked out tim please go to everyday tactical vids he's on instagram facebook twitter pinterest tumblr and obviously YouTube with a ton of great videos on gear review. And uh, yeah, and he's just a great guy. So please support his channel. And, uh, and I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe on my channel as well. Alright guys, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be posting again in the very near future. God bless.